On this channel, I help you to build awesome mobile applications and we also discuss strategies to be a good mobile app developer. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at 10 steps to build an app from scratch. Without wasting time, let's get started. Step number one, pick an idea. As simple as this may sound, you need an idea to work with. An idea is going to give you a direction as to what you are doing and it's going to help you have a general scope of what you are trying to do. Because come to think of it, if you don't have an idea of what you are doing, then what are you doing? And you may ask, how do you come up with an idea? If you are a beginner and uh, you're watching this video, uh, coming up with an idea can be very, very difficult. But I must tell you that your idea doesn't necessarily have to be a new idea. You can look at the Play Store, look at the App Store to look at some of the apps that are on the store and you know get your own ideas from the Play Store. Another way you can actually get an idea is to actually look at your own life, look at your day-to-day -day life, look at the things you struggle with. For example, if you have issues keeping your budget, then you know that you need a budget tracking app. So just like I said, a budget tracking app is not a new idea. There are numerous apps in the Play Store and the App Store that are budget tracking apps. But you can use that opportunity to develop your own application to suit your own need. You know, especially if you have looked at other apps on the store and that and they have issues, you know, solving your own specific needs. Another way you can get an idea is actually by asking people about their challenges, ask people about their day-to-day -day activities and see if you can get an idea uh, to work with. Then step number two, research the idea. So after getting the idea, you need to research the idea. You need to understand the problem. So if the idea is actually coming from someone else, like maybe you've asked people around about their challenges, then you need to dig deeper and ask several people about that topic research more into the idea, get more information about it so that you can be able to define the problem that you're trying to solve. Step number three, define the app function. After you have an idea and you've also researched into the idea, you need to define the app functions. At this stage, you need to now look at the app you want to build and define the functions one after the other. Uh, keep this simple and you can just write down the basic uh, app functions that, you, that the app is going to do uh, later on, you are going to flesh this out, but just keep it simple. You can put, make use of bullet points to list all the things that the app is going to do. Then step number four, define the app flow. So at this stage now, remember you've already, you already have an idea, then you've researched into the idea. You've defined all the functions of the app, you know, in bullet points. Now on this stage, now you have to define the app flow. So how was going to start? Are you going to start with a login page? Are you going to, uh, is, it, is it an app that requires a login page? Or is it just that you have a landing page? And then each of those functions, how do, how do they interact together? So you need to have something like a, a, a flow chart uh, that defines the app flow, or you can just have a step-by-step -step of uh, what leads to what. So for example, you can have uh, something on a sheet of paper like this, you know, to define how everything uh, works together. Uh, this may look uh, like a complex uh, example for you. Uh, if you can do that, that is fine. Uh, but if you can't, then you can just, you know, have something itemized and link them together on a sheet of paper to define how the flow is gonna look like. This flow is going to define the user experience of the app. In invariably, what you're trying to do is you're going to, you're defining the user journey, probably from the, start, from the login page you know, to the last page of the of the application, you want to identify how all these things actually link together. Step number five, sketch the UI. So remember you, you know, you start with an idea, you research into the idea, you define the app functions, uh, you define the app flow. Now you have to sketch the app. Now at this stage, you still have to keep things very simple um, and just, you can sketch on, uh, use pen and paper you can just have something like this where you have you know a sketch of how the app is going to look like uh, so by using a plain sheet and a paper if you can use apps like uh, adobe exit to create wireframe you know just in black and white gray scale that will also be fine but if you if you don't have that knowledge you can just use pen and paper you know to define the ui and at this stage you're just sketching these are just rough sketch 
of each of the pages and these are coming from the definition of the hub flow that we did in the last step so you're going to use that app flow to create the ui screen and you know sketch them uh have a rough rough sketch of everything that you need to do step number six design the ui now this is a stage that uh, most developer finds difficult and that is when it comes to the actual design but you need this in order for you to develop a good looking mobile application so i will encourage you not to skip this stage a lot of developers usually skip the stage of designing the the ui so at this stage that's when you are defining the colors that you're going to use you are defining uh the controls that you're going to use uh, and all this will be based on the wireframe and uh, the sketch that you have in the previous step and also the uh, app functions and the app flow that you have in all other previous steps and if you don't have the uh, knowledge of graphics design you may you know just get somebody to help you do uh, the design get a friend to help you out with design you can pay somebody on fiverr to help you out with design you know get a, a low-cost designer to you know to just help you with the design and if you are a seasoned developer you actually need this stage uh for you to actually build a good looking mobile application and i must tell you that's one of the things i do all the applications that you see that i've been building if you have been following this channel very well you see that i always have a prototype that i follow and i design those prototypes myself so you need that stage for you to actually really have uh, a good looking mobile application step number seven design your database you know now that you have all your designs you have all the application functions and you know the hub flow at this stage you know the data that is going to uh, be present in your applications and you, and you already know uh, the ones that you have to keep for example if you are doing login of course you have you need you need a user registration uh, somewhere if you have if you are dealing with uh, a budget tracker a tracking application you know that you have to track the budget so you have to keep those information somewhere and at this stage that's when you define also the relationship between all the components so what's the relationship between uh, the user and a particular uh, information so you have to define this relationship at this stage and also this stage is when you d decide uh, if you're going to be using uh, a local database uh, or you're going to be using a remote database and this is all what i mean especially if you are working with a mobile application sometimes your your database can sit on the mobile application so it's going to be local to the user you don't have anything you are transmitting over uh, the internet it's going to be local to the user and sometimes you can have uh, a remote database that is on a server somewhere uh, that you have to connect your app to probably through an api call or something so this is a stage where you have to define that clearly if your app is going to be making use of a local db or if you're going to making use of uh, a remote database step number eight research the solution so at this stage now you've already have your app clearly defined you know up to the database level but before you write a single line of code you have to research into this solution so for example if you are if you are working with database you want to know if you you want to create your own database from scratch or do you want to use something like firebase or do you want to use something like azure uh, research into the solution know what is available for you and also based on the problem you're trying to solve try to research and see if there's anything that has, anything that has been done out there that you can leverage on yeah sometimes there are open source you know uh, projects out there that can help you and speed up your application development uh, sometimes there are controls there are templates uh, that you can use you know there are you know data store that you can use so just make sure that you research into the solution for example if you're going to make use of text to speech in your application it will be it will be tedious to start to write your own te text to speech engine if you're trying to do something around uh, image manipulation and image recognition then it will be it will be tedious for you to start to write your own uh, you know image recognition engine so you have to research and see if you have open source solution out there or even if you have solutions that you have to pay a token for for you to be able to build your application so it is very important at this stage to actually really research into the solution and see and get all the components that you need bring them together you know before writing a line of code so that you will not be reinventing the wheel uh, and of course you have a faster development time step number nine develop the application this is where the main work is that's when you start to write code 
you have to also itemize the things that you need to do of course don't forget that you already have the hub functions defined and you already have uh, you know the sketch the framework and the, the ui design but at this stage you have to write out the things that you need to do you know while writing your code so you need to itemize your the, the steps that you're going to take and this will be based on the hub functions so it's very important and also at this case at this stage you have to write your you know write your test cases write your you know your unit tests uh so that you can test your application along the way so another thing you have to do at this stage is to make sure that you're using git so version control is actually very important and also you know keeping a remote copy of what you are doing is very important because with this it helps you to to continue your uh development uh when you are when you are probably out of town and you are not with your pc then in case of uh, anything happen to your pc uh, then you still have access to uh, the repository where you have your source code so it's very important that you're using source control at this stage and also as beginners uh, sometimes at this stage you have uh, some issues make sure you, you ask questions along the way you know google is your friend stack overflow is your friend you have a community uh, depending on the uh, language you are using there are a lot of community there will be a community around it so make sure that you are following key people you know uh, professionals in that field and uh, you know ask questions sometimes you can ask on twitter just ask questions you will be surprised that you get answers you also stack overflow is your friend google is also your friend then step number 10 which is the last step test your half a lot of people confuse this step uh, to writing of unit tests uh, it's quite different this is a point where you actually really test all the functions of your app you know uh, you can make use of uh, the the service of a professional tester or sometimes you can make use of uh, you know alpha testing by giving your application to people you know to actually interact with your app and give you feedback you know from that stage you can go to beta testing where you get a bright a, a broader audience uh, to work with that will give you more feedback about your application and as you get the feedback you go back to work and fix some of the issues or the, the box that must have been identified so at the end of the day you can have a stable release so that's it guys these are the 10 steps that i follow anytime i'm building any kind of application and i'm very sure that you must have learned one or two things from this video so question of the day what extra step do you take that is not in the list uh, that i have mentioned let me know in the comment section below and we'll be glad to respond and we'll interact with you in the comment section. Also, don't forget to like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you're here to do so. Enable that notification uh, bell by ringing it and share with friends, share with a colleague uh, on social media. Thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.